I find that maybe I have a really heavy patient and um, I see them on the schedule for next week and maybe the spot after them is open, I'll ask for a break during that time because I know I need it and my offices are usually willing to accommodate that. This is one of five videos made by dental hygienists for dental hygienists to help prevent work-related pain and disability. In an earlier video in this series, we learned that after we apply a lot of pinch force while doing extensive scaling or root planing, we need to take breaks to prevent injuries. Experts say that for every 10 minutes of forceful scaling or planing, we should do a different task for 20 minutes. That task should not involve forceful pinching. It could be cleaning tools, setting up a new patient, and so on. The goal is to begin working on each new patient without arm tiredness or pain. Many dentists will support a scheduling system that eliminates back-to-back -back heavy scaling or planing. When asking for this or other ergonomic changes, remember that dentists are also at risk for MSDs. They have an interest in preventing themselves and us from being injured. Speaking up and saying and asking for something can make a huge difference and you can actually almost always get what you want if it's something you truly need to do your job more efficiently. Many of us have sought help to reduce work-related pain. Research studies have shown that for persistent neck, shoulder, and upper back pain, targeted strength training can reduce pain. Before starting any strengthening program, we should consult a healthcare professional to determine if it is the right course of action. Stretching may make us feel better in the short run, but has not been proven by studies to help prevent MSDs. Working in pain is not okay. Pain isn't part, isn't part of the job. We should not be going to work and feeling pain.